So, a few stats for you guys. Kai Green has been documented to be anywhere up to 310 pounds. That's 141 kg in the off-season. He is 44 years old and is 173 centimeters tall. So, this 22 year old, 170 and 170 pounds Wait, 170 centimetres and 170 pounds. That's weird, isn't it? Person is gonna train like Kai Green today. I mean, just look at the size of those shoulders. I cannot wait to follow this ebook plan, which has been sent over to me by a subscriber, and build shoulders just like Kai by the middle of next week. If you are not aware, Kai Green is a massive, massive, massive bodybuilder and has a long-awaited comeback, which I'm hoping is going to be this year. No one is dead cert, but we're hoping it's going to be at the Olympia later this year. Obviously, it's been delayed. Um, but today's session is going to be taken from one of his ebooks, the Shoulder Workout um, Number One. There's two of them on there. There's a bit of instructions. It's like a 25 five-page ebook. It's kind of cool. And in today's session, we are going to have some standing overhead dumbbell press, rear delt flies, dumbbell lateral raises, and wide grip upright rows, which I know Kai is massively, like, massive on these. Like, really wide grip kind of upright row. Almost like a shrug more than anything else. There's actually two workouts which he recommends to spread across the week. Pretty much these ebooks that he does are like, if you want to build big shoulders, do this twice a week. He doesn't do specific full body plans or workout plans. He's like, this is a workout that you should definitely be doing. So with all that said, I'm gonna get warmed up. I wanna thank Callum who sent over the ebook. A subscriber of mine actually sent this over to me and it was his idea for me to film the entire video. So Callum, thank you my friend. I'll link his links in the description box down below. He's just started a new fitness page for himself. So go and check it out. I appreciate you Callum. I appreciate you all. Drop the video a like and let's get it going. So, what I have for today's video is it's going to primarily, for the first part anyway, be dumbbells. This right here is called a power block. It's the best thing I ever bought for this home gym, right? It has little bars along the side, like so, allowing you to drop the weight, drop the weight, drop the weight, like so. On the plan, you are supposed to superset standing overhead dumbbell presses with rear delt flies. You're supposed to do this on a pet deck. We don't have a pet deck in here, so I'm just gonna do a rear delt fly, right? Both of those movements I'm going to do with the same dumbbell, just increase and decrease the weight. So if I put the thing in the bottom like so, we have 41 kilos right there. All the way up to the top, there's little increments in the side here as well. Plenty of you will know how the power blocks work because you've been subscribed here before, but if you are new here, just wanted to give a quick explanation so that you don't think I'm just lifting some friggin' toasters. 16 friggin' reps to start off with though. This session is going to be tough, man. Really tough. Okay. Let's go. Now Kai allows you a grand total of 60 seconds rest in between these two until you do that again and then up the weight. This is going to be tough people. Feels good though. <laughs>
mine. Now, I actually have a story about the first time I kind of met Kai Green. Super cool guy, or so it seemed anyway. I'll tell that a little bit later though. Now I need some water. Ugh. So we have six sets of this, gradually increasing the weight, and then technically, we're halfway there. There's only four movements, but two supersets. There's just six sets on each exercise. So there's 24 sets in this session. It's gonna be tough. The second one I'm still thinking will be tough, but not quite as tough as this, because it is lateral raise superset with upright rows. And basically, the way that the plan suggests that you do it is you up it by percentages. I'm just gonna up it by what I know I can hit for that rep range to the point of failure sort of thing. And that's as good as we're gonna get for now. So Kai is meant to be actually, supposedly, making a comeback later on this year at the Olympia. Let me know your thoughts. Is that legit, is that gonna happen, or is it just hype? Because Kai loves to tease us, and he's been teasing us for the past four years now. So, I'm personally hoping, and fairly, fairly optimistic that it could be later on this year. I don't think he'd have as much competition if he competed right now, as he would normally. But I feel like Kai would want to be the guy that beats Phil Heath. He would only compete if it was going to be against Phil Heath. And I don't know if Phil will compete either, so it's all up in the air. I don't know. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Next up, we're going for 25 kilos. Sets of 10 this time. Remember, this is standing. It's difficult because I'm used to using a rack when it comes to shoulder press, you know? Or at least sitting down or something. Anyway, 10 reps, let's go. second rest, and then we go again. Woo! <clears throat> Jesus, man. Piece of piss, this. Sets five and six, a measly. 12 reps and 16 reps at 5% less of your one rep max. <sighs> Woohoo! <laughs> second rest and then we move on to the lateral raises and upright rows. Drop the video a like will you because I'm really dizzy.
One more. Okay. So. Oh. <laughs> Kai Green. Technically never actually met the guy. But what I did do was actually stand in the corner of the expo the first time I was there in 2015 and he walked past in a red tracksuit, hood up, swagging along like that. I was just like, he's a cool guy. He looked at me and everything, nodded, smiled. From that moment, I was kind of like, yes, like that guy. <laughs> but still to this day, technically never met him as in spoke to him, shaking his hand, all of that kind of stuff. But I know someone that knows him fairly well. That person is Mr. Nick Orton. And if you are new here, I love Body Power. Nick Orton is the CEO of the Body Power Expo here in the UK. I interviewed him a couple of months back when I was still a little bit peak bulk and he had a few words to say about the big man himself. A week before Body Power, the guy got badly injured. And Darren right. called me and said, oh, bad news, this guy's not gonna make it. And I was like, oh no, you know, this right. is bad. First show, big names, not gonna make it. He said, but don't worry, um, I've got somebody else for you. Now he's not big at the moment, nobody's really heard of him, but trust me, I think this guy's gonna be huge. Right. And I was like, okay, well, you know, you know what you're talking about, so mm. um, I'll go with what you say. And um, a guy called Kai Green turned up. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, where are you going with this? Yeah. Wow, right, okay. A guy called Kai okay. Green turned up, and wow, you know, Kai came here and he just went down a storm very different Kai Green to what you see now in terms of his, um, not necessarily his personality, because he's all, you know, he's obviously very thoughtful and yeah. you know, he talks slowly and at length. And he was the same then, but he was much more, I would say, timid. Um, and you know, I can remember the conversation I had with him now, and it was very, um, uh, what's the word, sort of, artistic and he was deep yeah. really deep yeah you know and uh, he talked about books and writing and I think architecture and, and I was like wow it just this doesn't match with what I'm seeing mm. in front of me I'm seeing this 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 human kind of guy yeah um, but really gentle and thoughtful and, and intelligent and you know we're a really amazing guy and um, I'm sure I've kept in touch with him ever since and he's, he is a genuine, uh, amazing character. So it seems as though Kai Green is a very well loved and well respected man within the industry. From myself included, I have a lot of respect for the guy, you know. He didn't have to acknowledge me as he walked past but he was, you know, kind enough to to do so and, and that can do a lot for a person, you know. So next up we have dumbbell lateral raises, 16 reps for sets one and two, 10 reps for sets three and four, 12 reps and failure for sets five and six. That is gonna be super set with the same rep ranges on a wide grip upright row. So what I'm gonna do is set up a barbell with two fives at either side. Obviously the barbell is 20 kilos, add the fives on the side, makes it 30. I've got the power box here, which I'm going to switch the weights around for the lateral raises using different rep ranges, different weights, etc. 16 reps to start off with. Okay. Three, two, one, go. Barbell, super wide, upright rows. Now this is an alien exercise to me as it is, but we're gonna go for it. Oh God. And guess what? 60 seconds rest, <laughs> and we go again. Oh, 
Who the hell does 16 reps? What even is that? So the fives are going on. One and two. Only going for 10 reps for these next ones, which I'm not looking forward to, to be honest. Because these wide ones, they're just hitting differently, you know? One slot down on the power blocks this time. 10 reps. Let's go. I'm finding that my grip is just gone, especially on these wide ones like this. Just like doing a completely, completely different exercise. Forearms seriously coming into play. Last couple of sets and what I've done is just taken these metal bars out of the power blocks. Basically that just takes it down by a couple of kilos because you're meant to take it down by 5%. 60 second rest for the entire session. I am fucked guys, I am absolutely fucked. This feels really good though, my shoulders just feel dead in a different way. That, like, I love training shoulders but I don't often train them like this, you know, this, this intensity. So, one more, we're going to go full Kai Green. Top's coming off. How are we looking? Three, two, one. Let's go. Forearms, but Jesus. Oh, that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you train like Kai Green. Let me know who you would like to see me train like next. Stick your comments, stick your suggestions in the comment section down below. The pumps from this were insane, so I'm more than happy to follow it up with another video. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section down below. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. If you have, please do me a massive favor, drop it a like, comment down below, subscribe if you are new. And with that said, I hope you all have enjoyed. Together we will grow. Drop the video a like, and I will see you all in the next one.